Hey guys, it's Mark Noor, and I just wanted to discuss Deedykin or Godkin. Basically, me, I don't have a... I'm not really supportive of Deedykin or Godkin, just based off of the concept. But, I could see... It depends on one's explanation. It depends on a deity. It depends on one who identifies as a deity or god. It depends on their explanation and the theoretical theoretical causes of it. Like there is a belief in the other king community of frac of fractation or fragmentation, where the soul is split into many pieces. So some people use that as an explanation for God can or deity can, saying that specific deities of other religion their souls were split into shards or little pieces or fragments of their souls are reincarnated into people. And to me, it's not far fetched, but still, it would be awkward to have like twelve Zeus's running around this world, or you know, just have twelve Zeus's or three Loki's or. Like five Thors and six Jesuses. It's kind of weird. But in like some religions, some deities are supposedly said to be inside of all of us. And if you go by Jainism, Jainism believes all of us have the capacity to reach Godhood. But being a God and just being a God in general and being a specific deity are two different things. And to me, one of the confusing concepts. One of the confusing things about it that kind of shatters it, in my opinion, is what if that person does not believe in the whole fragmentation part of it? What if they actually believe they're the one and true deity and that every other deity can or God can that claims to be the same thing is just really fakes? And in that, I just really can't get it. I just, I guess it's just awkward because if we go by that logic, then... All these deities claiming to be Shiva or Kali or, you know, Vishnu or Loki, Thor, Odin, you know, Tsukiyomi and all these Japanese Shinto gods, that means there's only one of them. There's only one legit one and the rest of them are basically fake or pseudo deities, I guess. And another point I think I have against, you know, deity kin or god kin is just when you put that situation hypothetically into reality and you know I'm supposed I'm supposed to I'm supposed to accept that a 14 year old or 15 year old kid on tumblr is basically is basically Athena or you know basically Apollo or something or basically like you know if you're a Hindu some kid on tumblr all the way in America and California sipping a sipping some Starbucks latte is claiming to be is claiming to be Shiva or Vishnu or something and you're a very firm religious practitioner of Hinduism and you worship these deities intensely but some teenager in California claims to be Vishnu has no understanding of Hinduism has, has no idea who Vishnu is in the first place or you know doesn't know the basic tenets of Hinduism or any of its concepts, it is just kind of just like, in my opinion, it's spitting in the face of those people to actually have that spiritual belief. For me, I wouldn't, for me, I think it's insulting. I think the whole concept of deity kin and god kin is insulting in a way because you're kind of spitting in the face of people that actually do have those religions and actually do take them very seriously, especially, you know, by claiming to be a deity because that's some that's a huge huge claim that literally no that really most because i haven't met all did again or all god can i haven't met any but it's to me it's something that not that nobody can actually prove like you can't prove that you're the specific deity that you claim to be and and if you claim and if you prove that you're the deity does that invalidate every other deity can or every other god can of that same deity or are you all just the same actual legit valid deity just in separate bodies? Because that would be weird. This is uh, Makanoor. Like, comment, rate, subscribe. Just trying to get thoughts out there. Just my opinion. Bye.